Thank you, Craig. So we have some great updates to talk about today that span much of the Mac product line. And let's begin with the iMac. Now, the iMac has been the gold standard of desktops for many years, but we're going to raise the bar once again. And as always on the iMac, it starts with the display. Because the 4K and 5K Retina iMac displays, with their high resolution, excellent brightness, and P3 color gamut, are the best displays on any desktop. But we're going to make them even better. So these new displays are now going to be 500 nits. That's 43% brighter than the previous generation. And for the first time, we're going to support 10-bit dithering, which means these displays can reproduce up to a billion colors. So your content is going to look more true to life than ever before. Now, in addition, we've got some great internal updates for these iMacs. So we'll start with the CPU, because the whole line is moving to Intel's seventh generation core processor, also known as Kaby Lake. Now, Kaby Lake gets us better bass and turbo frequencies for more performance, as well as hardware-based 10-bit HEVC decode, which is great for playing back high-quality video. In addition, these iMacs are getting a boost when it comes to memory capacity. So the 21.5-inch systems can now be configured with up to 32 gigs of memory, and the 27-inch can go all the way up to 64 gigabytes of memory. Both of those are twice what the previous generation could do. Now, fast storage has always been a key part of the iMac, and so we're going to now make our Fusion Drive standard on all 27-inch configs. And it's also going to be standard on the high-end 21.5-inch config as well. In addition, our SSD options are going to be up to 50% faster and now available up to two terabytes. And the iMacs are getting an I.O. upgrade as well, because we're giving them two USB-C connectors which support Thunderbolt 3. And we think our customers, especially our pro users, are really going to love this, because you can do some cool things, like hook up a high-performance RAID array and an external 5K display at the same time. So now let's talk about graphics. And as you heard earlier, we're investing heavily in graphics software technologies like Metal 2. Well, we're also investing in graphics hardware. And every configuration in this new iMac line is going to get a big bump in its graphics performance. So we'll start with the entry-level iMac. Now, this system gets a boost in its integrated GPU by way of Intel's Iris Plus graphics, which now has 64 megabytes of VDRAM. And the performance that we're getting out of this is pretty amazing, because this system is up to 80% faster in graphics than the previous generation. Now, next up is the 21.5-inch iMac with Retina 4K display. And the big news here is that we're going to be moving to discrete graphics and making it standard on all 4K iMacs. And that's going to come, there you go, and that's going to come in this Radeon Pro Series GPUs with up to 4 gigabytes of VRAM. And again, this move to discrete graphics yields a pretty spectacular performance increase, because this new system is up to three times faster than the previous generation for graphics. Now, lastly, we have our 27-inch iMac. And this is our most popular desktop for our pro customers. So obviously, it's going to get a bump in graphics today as well. So it's going to have these Radeon Pro 500 series GPUs with up to 8 gigabytes of VRAM. And again, we get a great performance uplift. In fact, this 27-inch iMac can now deliver up to 5.5 teraflops of graphics compute, which makes it a great platform for VR content creation.